Spirit Quartz from South Africa. Tiny piece, maybe a double thumbnail, yet the form is really, really lovely. The colors are very, very bright. Um, sitting on a matrix of solid quartz, which is pretty typical to this deposit. Now, what we have here is a central quartz crystal. As you see here, that would be the central, the core quartz crystal, surrounded by tiny quartz crystals, which is pretty typical to this deposit. Then color is determined by what happens in the, usually the outside edges or the inside edges of the crystal gets propagated right through. The orangeness to reddishness here would be caused by hematite come, uh, well, girthite, hematite in stages of oxidation. You'll have the effect of oil on water. Uh, 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 from a color point of view, so anything ranging from a, a red to a yellow to a brown. Now when we look into the the face or the top of this, these crystals, you find this lovely, almost a starburst. Uh, uh, rock paintings or nature's artists at it, uh, 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 intricately developing each face. It's, it's actually quite amazing that in a, a specimen this size, there's so much happening. Really lovely little guy, all the way from South Africa, uh, Spirit Quartz.